Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today is one of the most exciting days in planner life, and that is the setup of the new planner for a new month. It's always so exciting to set up a new planner because you get to see all the new dividers you get to move into a fresh new month just full of opportunity possibility so i'm super excited to be setting up my uh, functional planner for the month of august so if you're interested in seeing how i set up this bad boy just keep on watching So if you're familiar with my planner system, you know that I have two mega planners. I have my functional one, which has my work, my budget, my household, um, just various things. Uh, I have various planners Frankenplant into this mega planner, and I just have one month for each planner section in this particular planner because there's no way that I could have all the months for all of my sections in here. That would just be an immense planner. But this is my functional planner, and then I also have my fun planner, which I'm using the Jungle Vibes um, planner cover for this one because it's so beautiful, perfect for summer. And my fun planner has a lot of my like fun, um, more less less like functional and more like fun hobby type things in here. So this one is a little bit more like I'm a little bit more lax when it comes to like working in that one and filling that one out. But we're gonna set up my uh, my functional planner today in this video, and then I'm gonna set up my fun planner in another video because it's gonna take me a while to set these up, and I just want to um, just to have a, I don't want to um, I don't want to take forever, so I'm gonna do it in two separate videos. So I'm going to be setting up this planner here today. It's currently six in the morning, Monday morning, and. Uh, mornings are my favorite time to film. I can just sit out here in the backyard, everything's quiet, the lighting is good, and it's just my happy place. All right, so I'm gonna stick stick with the Colorful Leopard cover and the discs for August. Um, I'm still in love with my title page. I'm leaving in the calendar here. I'm leaving this in. I'm leaving in my folder with my little stationery in here. I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving my sticky note dashboard in. I'm leaving in my little uh, envelope with stickers. And then I'm leaving in these two scrapbook pages. Um, I also have a couple of new bookmarks that I got recently. So I'm going to add those in whenever I feel like I want to add them in. So basically, for August setup, I'm going to go in and take out all of the months, previ the previous months. Um, uh, well, I guess uh, for most of the planners here, I only have the previous month in. So right now I have uh, my July months in for all of my planners in this mega planner. And I have seven planners um, combined into this one planner right now. And um, but a, a couple of sections. Well, I do have two months in, so I have June and July. So for this little skinny mini here, um, which is my mood, uh, my mood tracker, as well as like my affirmation and positivity planner. Um, every day, I write one sentence down, or I write a mantra uh, down, just something really positive, uh, just to kind of give me that little boost that I need sometimes. So. Um, I have two months for this skinny mini in here and I'm gonna just take them out and put in the August months. So this is gonna be an opportunity for you all to see all of the planners that I have. So this planner comes from this little wildflower skinny mini and so I'm just gonna uh, pop on over to the end of May and then I'm gonna take out June here and then pop that one in and then I'm gonna take out July gonna pop that one in here as well and um, I got this one in January and look how much like I've uh, I filled it up <laughs> it's a lot of fun to, to play around with this skinny mini planner um, wow it's getting thick do you see it's getting pretty thick so I ended up putting all of my August months already into um, this uh, this planner. Um, I was, I'm using the cover of the Pressed Florals Horizontal Classic right now for that, but um, I'm just going to pop them out and 
place them into my planner so this is the divider for the month of august for that skinny mini for that skinny mini planner and i love it so much i love the peach very cute and this time i'm just gonna have one month in um yeah sometimes i have two months in for this one this this time i'm just gonna have one month in for that so that's set up i have a sheet of stickers here i love using these stickers to decorate my daily pages i have my hourly schedule um pages here i have a couple of those pages in there i'll leave those in here i have a folder from the new oasis disney mickey mouse collection which i just love the aesthetic of the oasis collection i can't wait to get my hands on the sticker books so far i haven't been able to find them in my joann's um but you know i'm not discouraged i'll find them eventually so i have a couple of wellness pages in here uh, i'm gonna leave those wellness pages in here i also have a couple of just blank filler pages i'm gonna leave those in here as well and then i have my bedtime routine with my sleep logs um that's fine i'll leave that in there as well and then we have my first or i guess my second planner section but my um my first like full-size classic section i have uh, this is my magic my faith my spirituality section so i have my aztec calendar in here that's gonna stay and then i have the month of july which um i had a lot of fun decorating with so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these pages well actually i'm gonna leave this page here because i have the august overview on the back of it so i'm actually just gonna leave um I'm actually, you know what, I'm actually going to leave this page in as well because a lot of the times when I don't finish um, the errands here or I haven't bought whatever I wanted to buy that I've made a note of in these two sections, I will carry it on over to the next week. And um, I, I have a couple of things here that I want to make to remember that I wrote down. So I'm just going to leave this entire week here, but I'm going to pull out this July monthly or I mean, I'm gonna pull out the July and then I'm going to pop it back into the, um, the uh, what's it called? It's the, uh, the planner that it came out of. So this was the dashboard, Mickey Mouse dashboard um, color block style. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is, but it looks like that. And now that's back in there and now I can pull for my, um, my August. So, like I said, I have all my August months in this uh, compilation of planners over here, but this is the August monthly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into here. So now we have my August. And then, um, oh, you know what? I should have probably um, pulled this out. So we should move these to the front here. So let's see. So there we go. And then maybe you can see, um, you can see a little bit of my filled out spreads here. Um, this isn't a flip through per se, but it is, um, you will be able to see <laughs> a couple of my filled out spreads here. And I actually haven't um, decorated for any of my spreads for this coming week because I'm actually going on vacation for a little over a week and I figured that I might as well decorate while I'm on vacation because uh, why not, right? Like I can't imagine a funner time than just like being on vacation and decorating in my planner and, dec and just having fun with it. So I actually decided um, I had a really busy weekend and week because I was prepping and planning for this vacation and so I decided not to decorate any of my planners until um, I went on vacation and so I'll probably be decorating and filling them out, you know, um, by like Wednesday, Thursday. They'll probably be all filled out by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's fine. And, you know, it's vacation so I'm not super, um, I'm not super like uh, invested in making sure they're all filled out and decorated by the start of the week so there we go there's my august yeah so there we go that is the 
so that is my magic and spirituality section we have my september monthly here and then we have the start of my academic section so i have some stickers here and um let's see what can i take out here um okay so i'm gonna be taking out my july month here so i'll pop out these pages i'll pop out well actually i'm gonna leave in this page because um because i want the august overview in here but i'm just gonna leave this one page i'm not gonna leave the whole week in here because i don't need this week honestly so okay so i'm gonna grab these and these pages come from this Disney Mickey Mouse um, planner. It's undated, and so I'm gonna pop these back into the planner. Let's get those in. And because these are undated, I can go ahead and grab any month that I want. So I'm gonna go through and see which, which divider is really calling to me. Um, Oh, that one's cute. Um, and then I'll just pull it out. Make your own magic. That one's adorable. Oh, I love that pink one. Um, I really like this one, the better together. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this monthly and I'm gonna pop it in. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I'm gonna pop it in here and then once that's in, I can grab this and the bookmark, and then the bookmark can go here in the first week. And then this page with the monthly overview, the August overview can go right here in front of the August. And there we go, we have my August month, the month of August for my academic planner. We have the September overview here. Then we go into my next section. This is my sticky note dashboard with all my fitness sticky notes. I have a couple of stickers. And then, um, so I'm gonna pull out all of my July, uh, all of my July, um, the, the month of July here, and the pages from July. I'm gonna pull that out. And I'm gonna leave this one in because it has the back I mean, it has the August overview here. So I'm going to move that to the front. I'm going to grab the Wrong Wrong Fitness Planner where these pages came from and pop in the month of July here. So here we go. This is where it belongs. This is the first happy planner I ever got and I got it in November. So this is my most filled out happy planner and it's getting chunky. So I'm gonna grab the month of August here for my wrong grong. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is the monthly um, divider for my wrong grong um, planner and it's we're back to the color blue in the month of august which always annoys me because blue is my least favorite color and um, i just prefer warm tones i really do um so yeah so i'm gonna grab my fitness bookmark and i'm actually gonna change this out i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this mickey bookmark let's see yeah, I'm gonna use this bookmark um, from the new Oasis collection from the Happy Planner. And I'm gonna pop it in here and that's gonna be my new bookmark because this one is gorgeous, but I feel like it doesn't really go well with fitness or with the blue color scheme of this month. So there we go, we have the month of August set up in my fitness planner. Then we have my household section, which I'm using um, the pages from this adventure awaits dashboard planner and i'm gonna go ahead and grab the july pages here um let's see except i'm gonna be leaving this past week here uh i'm gonna grab that 
and I'm gonna grab this mark. I'm gonna leave this whole week here because like I uh, I usually like to carry on the tasks I did not finish in this current week to the next week so I just like to have it there to reference so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these pages though and I'm gonna pop them back into the uh, let's see this planner here so here's my June monthly and then I can pop these back in So then I just have this week in here, I have my August overview, and then I can add in my August month, my month of August, which we're back to the blue. This planner also switches in between three different color palettes, and I do not like the blue. <laughs> but I love this divider here with the little RV, Ugh, adorable. So then we've popped that in, and... Um, for the bookmark, I think I'm going to go with this, uh, this bookmark here. These were actually um, meant for uh, the Big Happy Planner, but I cut them down to size uh, because obviously they don't fit in a classic. But I really love bookmarks and I just wanted to have some more. So there we go. That's the month of August. Then we have the September overview. And then my next section is my community service, my nonprofit work. And I'm going to pull out the month of July because we're done with it here. But I am going to leave in this last page here because it has the August overview on the back of it. And also I'm not finished with that, uh, that drawing. So I just want to finish it. So I'm going to pull out these pages. And these pages are from this planner. This is the Stephanie Fleming planner with the neutral pages. And I'm just going to pop in the month of July into here. There we go. And I'm going to pull out the month of August, which I have in this other um, planner. So I'm going to pull out these pages. And I love this divider. Um, I liked it a lot more. I like it a lot more than that plain yellow divider that we had for the month of July. Okay, so there we go. And then we have the September overview here. Oh, I meant to pull this out. I'm gonna leave this bookmark in here because I like it still. So I'm gonna leave that in there. And then let's pop in this last page here. Oh. Actually, there we go. There's a reason why I have a scrapbook paper separating each section <laughs> so that it doesn't jump like directly from the previous planner to the next. And we have a little bit of separation there. So there we go. There's the August um, month, the month of August. And then um, my last section in this planner is my budget section. So I'm gonna pop out these pages and uh, put them back into my budget planner. And I'm gonna leave this last page in here because it's the beginning of next month's budget review. And I like that it's just a plain grid, like a, a plain grid paper and I put these stickers on it. Um, so that way I don't have like carryovers from the last month in here. And I'm gonna grab the month of August from my collection of um, August months. So this is the month of August here and I love this divider with the little piggy banks and the gold foil. So then I'm going to pop that into here and I'm going to grab my budget bookmark and pop it in to the month. So that's it. I set up my functional planner here and I actually just kind of want to add a couple more bookmarks in here. I want to add one bookmark here 
for my perpetual calendar because I do flip to this uh, uh, quite a bit and so I kind of want to add a bookmark in here. So I'm going to take off this household sticker and I'll relabel that at some point. Oh, might, might as well do it right now. Um, I'm going to grab one of these gold foil boxes from my colorful boxes sticker book and pop that up here at the top. And I'm just gonna write yearly overview there. So then we have my yearly overview. Wellness. And I also wanna add the label for this section here. So I'm gonna write fitness on this label. And I think I need just one more label. Yeah, the household one. So I'm gonna grab a silver foil box and label that household. And I think that's it. Yeah, I have my community service and then my budget. And that is my functional planner all set up. Really, really happy with how it turned out. I'm so excited to get into all of these new pages. I'm gonna be decorating so much over my vacation. I have to decorate the August pages and the August monthlies and all of the new um, weekly spreads for this week and the upcoming week. I do get back from vacation on Friday the 13th, so I'm definitely gonna um, have to decorate <laughs> both these two, these two weeks for all of these spreads, which is a lot of fun. It's always fun to decorate spreads and I'm gonna be on vacation, so it's gonna be even funner to do it. I might even go ahead and decorate um, the like three weeks or the entire month honestly depending on how much downtime i have which i mean i'm gonna be on vacation so i'll have a lot of downtime so yeah so that is the setup for my mega happy planner my functional one i kind of want to give it like a special name uh, besides functional and fun <laughs> maybe i'll just call it my functional and my fun planner so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i'll catch you in my next video bye